Hello YouTube, we're back again for week three of our Samsung Galaxy S7 news and rumors. I'm John McCann, this is James Peckham. Let's jump into it. So at the start of the week, we saw a trademark application from Samsung for an always on display. Now a few different websites and stuff have picked this up as a Galaxy S7 feature, but we worked out that it's actually 19 days away from when it was filed, it was 19 days away from the launch of the S7. Doesn't that sound a little bit too near to the actual phone launch? Yeah, the timings don't quite add up mm. here. It does, it does seem too close to the bone. Maybe Samsung is making a last ditch play, but it feels like it's, it would be something more for maybe the, the S8 next mm. year or even maybe even a, further, yeah. a Note 6 towards the end of this year. Um, of course, LG has been quite public on Twitter mm. by saying that the LG G5, which it will be launching on February 21st, same day as Samsung, uh, will have an always on display. Mm. So maybe Samsung's trying to get one over on its South Korean rivals and actually have the always on display in its marketing to try, or maybe it's just trying to block LG yeah. from using it in its it marketing. Could it could be a, a, a counterplay from Samsung. Mm. Yes, we reckon it's less likely to be in the S7, um, but maybe something for the future. Mm. So on Tuesday this week, we saw a leaked FCC document which came out with some of the specifications for the Galaxy S7 Edge. It has a 3,600 milliamp battery inside it, according to this. That's quite a bit on the Galaxy S6 Edge, which had a... 2,600. 2,600 yeah, milliamp battery. It's an extra battery. thousand milliamps, which, yeah. would be, which is great news. Bigger batteries, great. It's huge though, it's Maybe. a really big increase. That's really good, that's what we want, that's what we've yeah, yeah. been asking for for the last couple of years. Everyone's making their phones thinner and mm. that's compromising on battery because it's getting thinner and there's less space for the battery to be in there. Mm. So a bigger battery, great news. Um, which leads us nicely onto Wednesday. Mm. How are you going to fit a bigger battery in the S7 Edge? Mm. Well, it could well be bigger, couldn't it, James? Yeah, so uh, we saw some photos leak out this week of the S7 and the S7 Edge. We've seen photos every single week, but this time it seemed to confirm that the S7 Edge will have a bigger display, 5.5 inches to be exact. So it looks like it's actually going to be the phablet version that we see as the S7 Edge. What do you think? Um, that is looking more likely. We've seen mm. a couple of rumours now in the last couple of weeks and a few leaked shots which suggest a difference in size. So. It looks like at the moment the S7 will be 5.1 inch screen, S7 Edge 5.5 mm. and then later in the year potentially the new Note at 5.7 so that gives Samsung a mm. nice trio of flagship devices at different screen sizes um, for different users. So at the end of the week, Tech Radar was actually at the Samsung European Forum where the VP of Marketing for the company said that the next Galaxy will be the best Galaxy ever. Well, shocker. Yeah. Like, he's not going to say the next Galaxy is going to be all right, but it's not nowhere near as good as the S6. So, but, no big surprise, is it, really? But he did say some quite interesting stuff where he said at, M at MWC we will see the next iteration of Gear VR, or he said there will be at least some more Gear VR news. So that's quite interesting. Well, that is that. because when they launched the S6 last year at MWC, mm. they launched a new iteration of Gear VR to go with the S6 yeah, on top of the previous one. So they're just building mm. on that and we have heard Gear 360 mm. also rumoured, so maybe that's going to link in with that. And he also did confirm that the Samsung Galaxy S7 launch will bring Samsung Pay to Europe. Finally. Finally. It's been a long time now. So we don't know if that means it'll come with an actual phone on the launch date of the phone. We can hope that's what actually happens and it's about time that we actually had Android Pay or that kind of thing around in Europe. Thank you for tuning in to what is our penultimate Galaxy mm. S7 news and rumours video because we are only now a week away a from week. the big day itself. Yeah. We're going to be there live. We're going to be bringing you all the latest. So tune in next week for the latest rumours and then tune in again for our hands-on and our impressions. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next week.